Have you ever wondered why medical bills are skyrocketing, pushing more and more people into debt? Well, let's take a deep dive into this escalating crisis. Our journey starts with the rising cost of healthcare, a monstrous beast that's been growing unchecked for years. It's not just your imagination. The price tag for medical services is indeed shooting up, and it's leaving a lot of folks with a hefty tab they can't foot. Now you might be thinking, but isn't insurance supposed to cover that? In an ideal world, yes, but unfortunately we're far from that utopia. High deductibles, out-of-pocket expenses, and uncovered procedures, all these add up. And before you know it, you're staring at a bill that's got more zeros than a superhero comic book. This isn't just an issue affecting a few unlucky individuals. It's a widespread epidemic. Millions upon millions of people across the country are grappling with medical debt. The average amount owed, it's not a few hundred or even a couple of thousand. No, it's in the tens of thousands. Medical debt isn't picky. It doesn't care if you're young or old, rich or poor. It's an unwelcome guest that can show up at anyone's door. And once it's in, it's notoriously hard to shake off. It can lead to bankruptcy, destroy credit scores, and cause untold stress and anxiety. And here's the kicker. It's not just about the money. This debt can have serious consequences on people's health too. When faced with the prospect of owing thousands, some folks are forced to skip treatments, avoid doctors, or delay necessary procedures. This can exacerbate health issues, leading to a vicious cycle of increasing debt and declining health. So, what's the prognosis? Well, I wish I had better news, but the reality is, the cost of healthcare continues to rise, and with it, so does medical debt. It's a grim picture, and it's only getting worse. But don't lose hope. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the problem is the first step in finding a solution. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this issue and explore potential ways to navigate this crisis. What if your golden years aren't so golden after all, financially speaking? This question strikes a chord with many as they grapple with the hidden costs of elderly care. In the twilight of our lives, we all aspire to a tranquil existence with the comfort and care we deserve. But the reality is often starkly different as the costs associated with elderly care can put a significant financial strain on families. Let's delve into some of these costs. Home care, a popular choice for many, comes with a hefty price tag. The average cost of a home health aid, for instance, can run into several thousands of dollars per month. And this is just for the basics. We haven't even begun to consider the cost of medical equipment or modifications to make the home more accessible. Nursing homes, another common setting for elderly care, are even more expensive. With around-the-clock care, medical supervision, and other facilities, the costs can skyrocket into tens of thousands of dollars annually. Assisted living facilities, a middle ground between home care and nursing homes, are not much cheaper. While they offer a more independent living arrangement, the costs can still be prohibitive for many. Now you might think that government support can help offset these costs, but the truth is, the support is often insufficient. Medicare, for instance, only covers a fraction of long-term care costs and only under specific conditions. Medicaid can provide more extensive coverage, but it's only available to those with limited assets and income. So what does this all mean? It means that families are often left to shoulder the majority of these costs. It means that the financial burden of caring for our elderly is often underestimated. And it means that many are forced to make difficult decisions between quality care and financial viability. The hidden costs of elderly care are a stark reality that many of us will face. It's a sobering reminder that the golden years can be tarnished by financial worries. But by shedding light on these costs, we can better prepare for the future and advocate for more comprehensive support systems. The price of growing old is higher than you might think. How much does it really cost to raise a child today? Now there's a question that's been keeping many a parent awake at night. Raising a child is a joyous, rewarding experience, yet it comes with a set of financial challenges that can be daunting, especially for low-income families. The cost of childcare is one of the most significant expenses that parents face, and it's been on the rise for years now. Imagine this. The average cost of childcare for one child can range from $9,000 to $14,000 a year, depending on the state. That's a sizable chunk of a family's income. In fact, for families earning less than one and a half times the federal poverty level, childcare can consume up to 30% of their income. 
And it's not just about the money. Childcare also involves a time commitment that can be difficult to manage, especially for single parents or those working multiple jobs. Parents are often left juggling their work schedules, personal lives, and their child's care. So what happens when the cost of childcare becomes too much to bear? Some parents are forced to make tough decisions. They may have to cut back on work hours or even quit their jobs to look after their children. Others might have to rely on unlicensed or informal childcare, which may not provide the best environment for their child's development. This is a crisis that demands attention. Governments and communities need to recognize the importance of affordable, quality childcare. It's not just about supporting parents in their quest to balance work and family life. It's about giving every child a fair start in life, regardless of their family's income. The rising cost of childcare is a dilemma that affects us all. It impacts our economy, our communities, and most importantly, our families. We need to start a conversation about it, to bring about change and ensure that no child is left behind because of the financial constraints of their family. The cost of raising children is soaring and families are feeling the pinch. Let's not let this pinch turn into a chokehold. It's time we address the childcare dilemma. What do these three crises have in common? Well, as we dissect the looming medical debt crisis, the hidden costs of elderly care and the childcare dilemma, we find an intricate web of systemic issues that underpin these crises. They're not standalone problems, but rather symptoms of a much larger disease, a systemic malady that pervades our society. Let's start with government policy. Often the policies enacted by those in power can have far-reaching consequences, and unfortunately, not always for the better. When we look at these three crises, we see how government policy, or sometimes the lack thereof, has played a significant role in their creation and perpetuation. From inadequate healthcare coverage to insufficient support for elderly and childcare services, the government's hand in these crises is clear. And then, there are societal values. In a society where youth and independence are highly prized, the elderly and the very young can sometimes be overlooked. This raises pertinent questions about how we value those who cannot care for themselves, the children who are our future, and the elderly who have contributed so much to our past. Economic inequality is another common thread. The widening wealth gap in our society has made these crises even more pronounced. The financial burden of medical debt, elderly care, and childcare is felt most acutely by those at the lower end of the economic spectrum. The rich can afford the best care for their loved ones, but for the majority, these expenses are a heavy load to bear. In essence, these crises are not just about healthcare, elderly care, or childcare. They're about how we, as a society, choose to allocate our resources, how we prioritize our values, and how we care for the most vulnerable among us. So what's the solution? Well, it's not easy, and it's not quick, but it starts with acknowledging the interconnectedness of these crises. We need to address the systemic issues at their root, rather than simply treating the symptoms. These crises are interconnected, and solving them requires a comprehensive approach. So what can we do about it? You might be asking yourself this. Well, let's dive into the ways in which we can tackle these crises. Firstly, advocacy. Advocacy is a powerful tool that can bring about substantial changes. It's about standing up and voicing out our concerns. It's about seeking justice, fairness, and equality. Rally behind organizations that are committed to combating the medical debt crisis, improving elderly care, and making childcare more affordable. These organizations are tirelessly working to bring about change, and your support, whether it's through volunteering, donating, or simply spreading the word, can make a huge difference. Secondly, policy change. The issues we've discussed today are systemic, and to truly address them, we need to advocate for policies that protect the most vulnerable among us. This could mean supporting legislation that caps medical costs, or policies that ensure affordable, quality care for our elderly and children. Let's take our advocacy a step further and use our voices to influence the laws and regulations that govern these sectors. Thirdly, individual financial planning. While we work towards systemic changes, it's also important to take steps to protect ourselves and our loved ones. This might mean setting up a health savings account, investing in long-term care insurance, or researching affordable childcare options. It's about arming ourselves with knowledge and making informed decisions about our finances. Lastly, spread the word. Share this video with your friends, family, colleagues. Discuss these issues at your dinner table, at your workplace, in your community. 
The more people are aware of these crises, the more pressure there will be on policymakers to act. Change starts with awareness. Share this video and together we can start to turn the tide. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.